was recently inspired by looking on uh, the Woodchuckers group on Facebook. Uh, link will be below if you want to go and check them out. Uh, about making your own wood turning tools. When I sort of thought about it, I realised I'd made a fair few of my wood turning tools over the years. Uh, so I thought I'd shoot a bit of video about it. Um, the video is going to be in four sections. We're going to look at adapting existing tools, making your own handles, making a complete tool for yourself. Careful about how we put that one in and uh, look at some future projects that I've got coming up in this respect. Hopefully the video will encourage you to make your own wood turning tools and uh, maybe save yourself a little bit of money but more importantly make yourself the tools you want to do the jobs you need to do. Okay, stick with me, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, the first thing we're looking at is adapting tools. Um, can be done very easily for some things. This was an early attempt um, at making a captive ring cutter. Um, sort of worked. I'm not overly pleased with it, maybe do some more adaption on it, uh, maybe try shortening it up. It was just literally, as you can see, an old chisel, ground down and a little notch put into it to try and uh, so cut captive rings. And did lead me to moving on to our second tool, which is an Allen wrench adapter. Um, if you go on to the Wyoming Woodturner's site, he's actually got, he inspired this particular tool, he's got a video on how these are easily made, as you can see it's just a ground down Allen key. Um, this actually worked really well as a captive ring tool. I could turn a bead on the outside of the piece and then come back with this to undercut. Uh, and actually very successful. I made a nice kids rattle out of that one. Um, another simple tool. This is a point tool. Fairly crude one. Um, as you can see just an adapted screwdriver. And I've ground away three sides on that to make a, a nice cutting tool. Again actually works really really well. Uh, and obviously just a free screwdriver that I wasn't using. Now we come to making uh, handles for tools. Uh, this is a way of saving a little bit of money, though I don't think you'll, you'll save a fortune doing it. But it does allow you to actually make custom handles for the tools you want. Uh, in my case I've got fairly big hands. Um, so actually baking wider chisel handles that fit my hand better mean that I'm more confident when I'm turning. So let's quickly cover what I've, I've done. This sort of follows on from the previous one. This is a, a simple wood chisel. Um, which I broke the handle off and actually made my own wooden handle for. This is a bit of sycamore. Um, as you can see, what I did was basically just formed a shape that I liked. Um, I used this for scraping boxes, so it's got a cutting edge on the side and the end, uh, and a small radius there, so it allows you to feed it down into boxes, trim away at the side, and level the bottom. This works really well. I actually use this chisel quite a lot. I don't know what the greatest steel is, um, I don't know what they make chisels to, wood chisel, normal wood chisels to, um, but this is actually a very effective tool and probably one of the ones I'm most pleased with the end result of. Um, also got this, uh, again in terms of saving myself a bit of money, I only saved myself a tenner, but I bought this uh, Robert Sorby scraper that I wanted um, for doing the insides of bowls, finishing off. Um, and save myself a tenner by buying just the blade, which you can do if you shop around, and then made my own handle to go with it. In this case, I think this is a bit of ash. Uh, and finally, although you wouldn't call it necessarily a primary uh, woodwork tool, again, I bought this blade. It's uh, a replacement blade for a flush cut saw. Uh, I do use this to cut my pieces off the lathe, and I just made myself the handle, saved myself a few pounds, and again, made a handle that I like. Okay, this is the last couple of tools now. This is the very first tool I ever made, which is uh, fairly crude by my current standards, but uh, very effective and works. This is a screwdriver from a very narrow screwdriver I had, which was just worn down and useless, so I ground it down to make a nice braddle with a simple pine handle, sort of practicing the technique that I'd use later. Um, very effective again, and part of my regular toolkit still. And this is a sort of novelty. Um, I saw this initially inspired by uh, Robbie the Woodturner who has a video, which again I'll link down there somewhere, um, showing how to make this particular tool. Uh, it's the chuck off an old cordless drill, which had had enough and uh, didn't work anymore. So I uh, disconnected the old chuck uh, and mounted it to a handle. And this is sort of useful for mounting drill bits. So you can drill into the end of the chuck. I said Robbie does a really nice video on that, so I advise you to watch that. Okay, so this brings us around to uh, future projects in terms of tool making. Um, I'm hoping to make myself my first carbide cutter and I bought these uh, cutting heads off the internet relatively cheap. Uh, I've got a section of 10mm uh, bar coming which will hopefully support them. 
and obviously I'll turn my own handle for them as well. This is a project that's sort of in process. Um, in fact, I'm even not sure now that I'm going to see it through having bought the, the Sorby scraper to do a very similar job. But if you've got a grinding wheel or a lot of patience and a hand file, you can make these for yourself. You can shape them any way you want. Decide where you're going to have your cutting edges and just grind the shape onto them. Um, I found it really enjoyable. I said I might repurpose this to something else now, I'm not sure. Had this as a potential chattering tool. Um, I've discovered using it's way too long. But being as I'm about to build a handle for these things, I might adapt some of these bits of metal, chop off the end of this and uh, make some chattering tools which is another technique I'm quite interested in trying. Um, said so at the moment a little bit too long and flexible but I think cut down might do the job. So I said just a brief video there just to uh, show you all the kinds of things I've got involved in hopefully inspire other people to have a go at making their own tools. If even you're just a starting wood turner you probably have already got the kit to do it all. All you need is your lathe, a grinding wheel or at worst some hand files and a bit of patience and you can make really effective uh, tools that fit the way you want them to work. They shape the way you want them, the handles are the way you want them to be, you can grip them the way you want. I recommend it, uh, I get a lot of pleasure from doing it but I've produced some tools that I do now regularly use. Um, so save yourself a bit of money and have some fun, that would be my advice. Um, I'll hopefully shoot some videos of my next set of uh, tools being made as I go along um, and I hope you come back for them. Thanks very much, bye.